What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Bullshot Darts. This is going to be episode one of my new series called Out School, where I teach you guys all about outs. This one, I'm going to give you five ways to help you learn your outs. Outs are extremely important to know because you need to hit your out to win the game. One of the worst things in darts is having to take a step back and try to figure out the math of your out. It takes you out of your rhythm. So knowing your outs, you don't have to worry about taking a step back and figuring out in your head because you know whatever you hit on the board, you know where your next start needs to be. So this is going to be five ways to help you learn your outs, and then the rest of the series I'm going to be talking about specific outs to help you learn them. Number one, subscribe to Bullshot Darts. I talk a lot about darts on here, and this new series is going to be huge, and it's going to help teach you all about your outs. Number two, work backwards. For example, if you have 91 left and you're trying to leave 32, subtract 32 from 91, that equals 59. Can you hit 59 with one dart? No, you cannot. Next popular out is going to be 40. 91 minus 40 is 51. Can you hit 51 with one dart? Yes, triple 17. So that way you know your out is going to be triple 17, double 20. So try working backwards from your out and that'll help you. Number three, Try playing some outs games, not on a dartboard. So for me, anytime I'm anywhere and I see a number 170 or lower, I can't help myself but to figure out the out in my head. If I see a speed limit of 45, I think five double 20 or 13 double 16. So try incorporating that into your everyday life. Whenever you see numbers, just try to figure out the out in your head. It may sound silly, but it's actually kind of fun and it's gonna help you learn your outs. Number four, watch more darts. They're going to be hitting lots of outs and it goes by quick because they score a lot faster. So you're going to see them take out outs much faster than you would see it normally. Study their darts. Think about why they're throwing at different numbers and try to figure out the math in your head. Another thing too, a lot of people think that dart players are just really good at math. That's not necessarily the case. When you're first learning your outs, yes, you need to think about the math. But once you figure out the math in your head, you're not thinking about the actual numbers on the dartboard. You're just thinking about your target. So for example, 120, when we're throwing at that, we're not thinking 60, 20, 40. We just know that we need to get one triple 20 and one single 20 and then finish it off with the double 20. So once you start learning your outs, you're going to be thinking more about the, what targets you need to hit as opposed to the actual math. And lastly, number five, chalk more matches. Once again, we're in the pandemic, so we're not out that much throwing. But when you have the opportunity, chalk. A lot of people don't like chalking because they would rather be throwing or socializing. But there is no better way to learn your outs than chalking a game. Because you are standing there doing the math inside your head with all the darts that they're throwing. So that's going to help you learn the math part of outs. And then that's going to translate to learning just what targets you need to hit to get your out. All right, guys, that's it for this one. This is episode one of Out School. Make sure to subscribe because this is going to be a long series talking all about outs. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new, please make sure to subscribe to Bullshot Darts on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram, and shoot well.